what's going on everybody welcome back to another destiny 2 video today i have something special for you guys we have the brand new neo muna crafted pulse rifle i don't even know what it's called but i'll, I'll show you guys a roll in a second but thank you sir well definitely borrow your account this guy literally has every single gun crafted in the video game and he has like every single neo muna gun that is craftable already good and if you guys want to see any videos basically with any specific guns that are crafted please let me know I don't think there is a single gun that this guy does not have crafted, but the rule that we're going to be trying on the Psy Low Tactic Spiral here. We have Head Seeker, Keep Away, Ricochet Rounds, and Arrowhead. So we have good stability and we have good range. And I have not used this pulse before on my main account. Like I haven't even tried like a regular roll before, but it's hitting 38 to the head. I feel like that's more than normal for like, I actually I have no idea. 30, 340 archetype is like mainly just no time, I think. Oh my God. That guy just got a fitty and a melee from across the map. I'm just getting ran out. I'm also pairing it with an Astral Horizon with opening shot and surplus. So that is what is on the shotgun if you guys are wondering. But I want to thank you guys so much for showing so much love to the past two videos. They have been doing so good and we've gained over a thousand subscribers in just a few days. We just hit 92k like the other video and we just hit 93k last night. So thank you guys so much for growing so fast and we are on our way to 100,000 subscribers. So I appreciate you guys very much for showing so much love and support. It does mean a lot to me. But back to this pulse. It feels pretty good so far. Like it doesn't, it sounds kind of goofy to me. I don't know, but it feels good. Oh my God. Wait, I won that. I'm alive. I'm also on healing grenades, not fireballs. So I do have a little more survivability. It feels good. This thing actually feels nice. Hang on. Let me get, let me into my little spot up here. I just got pushed off on my teammate. Nice man, thank you. But the first week of life fall is coming to an end. So far, what are you guys thinking about it? How do you guys feel? What are your thoughts? According to Steam reports and like the Steam reviews, if you guys have seen them, you guys probably have seen on Twitter, a lot of people have given negative reviews about the game. And it's like, I understand why people are leaving negative reviews. Like it makes sense, like what they're saying, but they, they're making negative reviews about like just the campaign alone. It's like, I understand there's a lot of things that don't make sense. Like how the campaign is just like strand training grounds and we don't know what the veil is. We don't really know what's going on and everything is kind of left just like unanswered, which like, I understand why Bungie's doing it. It's so that there's actual content to be put out throughout the rest of the season. But it's also like this, like which game has been getting hyped up a lot, bro. It's like, we're literally doing Twitch rivals for, for the game. We're doing Twitch rivals for the world's first raid. They advertise it so much, like it, they put so much effort into Lifefall and for it, for the story to kind of just like flop like that, like, I don't know. Like I thought the story would be a lot better. Like I said it before, I definitely think Witch Queen campaign was better, even in terms of just like general gameplay. Like I think Strand is cool. I think it's actually really sick. But, like the way you go about it, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like worth it. Oh wait, the game's over. Hey, mercy them. Like if I wasn't like a Destiny 2 player and someone wanted me to play Lifefall and I read the reviews, I'd be like, hell no, I'm not spending money on that. But like, if you're actually playing the game outside just a campaign, which you play the campaign once or like you want all three characters and that's it. Once you start getting past that and actually playing everything else, like it's a lot more fun to be honest. The campaign's normally the boring part. The first game, 0.2 opponents defeated, 5.5 KD, a little something slight, you know me. Well, let's hop into the next one. All right, so for some reason, the game really likes blessing me with the most god-awful maps on the planet. I also went ahead and swapped the target adjuster mods for backup mag. I feel like it'll make more sense because I don't really think I need the extra aim assist. Okay, and that guy just got sniped. Oh my god. All right, I can't. Pulse video, pulse video. I'm making a pulse video. Like I said so far in the first game, it does feel like it feels good. I don't know. I need to, like... I don't think it's better than no time, but then again, it's like not everyone likes running no time. I would have to compare it to like messenger and I feel like with the perks, I don't know. I feel like it could definitely be better than messenger. You also have to incorporate the fact that not everyone has messenger. Most people do, but if you don't, it's like, this is definitely not a bad gun. The Bungie definitely has a, they definitely do add a lot of guns that are craftable that are absolutely useless, but I think they did really good with the life haul guns for the most part. I feel like every gun that's like they've added oh my god i feel like every gun that they've added for the most part that's craftable this season is actually worth using or like worth getting if you like that archetype of guns like obviously if you don't use auto rifles there's no point to go craft one but if you do i feel like even the auto rifles are good so far this pulse feels really nice 
Like that guy just got actually put down. And when you have arrowhead break, it's like there's not really much recoil. I kind of just shoot my gun. I'm dead. Staying with those Sophidians. Also on the Imperial Decree video, the crafted one from yesterday, a lot of people were saying, yeah, I was punching a lot. I'm going to keep it a buck you guys. I'm not sure if you guys shotgun in this game, but if your shotgun kills, then I I'm just envious of you in general. My shot, dude, even if I had the most five out of five God roll, Jesus Christ gave me the shotgun. It is not killing people unless I'm barrel stuffing them. Even then, I still think I'm going to change the rolls on the Imperial. I think I'm going to swap off extended barrel and just put on smoothbore. Smoothbore is what I was going to originally put on because I just think smoothbore is just, I don't know. I think smoothbore is just the best barrel. Okay, I'm dead. Like currently right now on this guy's astral, I'm running surplus opening and then smoothbore. It's like, I, I just think smoothbore plus opening shot on aggressive is just like the wave no matter what. So I'm still going to make the two shotguns, one with uh, slide shot, one with threat detector. I'm not sure if threat detector is better than surplus. I'm getting like 50, 50 answers from people, but I think majority of people are saying that threat detector is better, but I have gotten both. I've gotten both. So it's like, I don't know. Oh, this pulse is nice, bro. This pulse is nice. And the thing is too with this pulse, if you guys don't know, um, obviously it's castable, but when you do the, like the story missions, like the from zero, I think it's called, they're basically, they're blue. Like they're color blue on the, uh, okay. Sorry. I was pointing someone. They're color blue in the little quest tab. When you do those quests, they give you a guaranteed red border. So technically for this gun, you only have to get two red borders and you can craft it because you can get one on each character for free and you don't have to worry about it. So I was really hoping that the guy behind me just didn't turn around. I don't think he did. But yeah, this gun is actually really easy to get crafted. It has good range. This thing, dude, this thing is nice. Like actually, this thing is nice. It feels really crispy. The scope on it's actually really nice too. I like the scope a lot better than Messenger. And I like it a lot better than No Time. I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but the No Time scope, like the orange one is definitely the best one, but I just hate how there's like the little blue waves that just come out. It's like part of the gun's lore, but like, I just don't like it. All right, first Dawn Blade of the video. Let's see if I'm good for one, maybe. Okay, good for one. Well, oh, he's not on Phoenix side, I forgot. Okay, good for two, good for three. Run for four, cross map. Oh, good for four. Okay. Dude, Dawn Blade is a lot better than before. It is a lot better now. I'm glad that they finally fixed it. They gave it a little bit more super energy so you can actually throw more than one sword. And they made it so that the super doesn't... What did they do? I forgot what else they did. Oh, they changed the Phoenix Dive. The Phoenix Dive is actually helpful on the super. And they buffed Phoenix Dive, so it's not as long as the cooldown. So Don Warlock is back. What the hell? Don Warlock is back. It's been five minutes and the score is 55 to 30. Please take this map out of the pool, man. I'm also thinking about uploading a... Okay, holy, I just so many shots. I think I'm gonna do an unranked to Ascendant video on a new light account. <laughs> it might sound pretty scuffed, but... Why? I'm definitely gonna upload unranked to Ascendant on my main account, but a lot of people have been saying that it only takes like 30 games and it only took them like three hours. The first time comp came out last season, I'm dead. The last time comp came out last season, it took me like eight hours, nine hours to go from unranked to ascendant. And people are saying you can get placed in plat now, right? Instead of gold. That's only one rank. Like how does that save six hours? I don't even know. Like five different people I know. So that took them like three hours only. So I'll probably do my unranked to ascendant on my main account, upload that video, like the whole thing from stream. And then I, I don't know. I kind of want to torture myself. I want to do unranked to ascendant with green guns, blue guns, and just get absolutely far. My butt cheeks can ripped apart. I, uh, the only thing about that that makes it bad is that whenever I do like unranked, like even when comp was out, like regular comp, I, when I would, when I would do zero to 5,500, I would get shit stream sniped out the ass. It's like, I have blue guns in like 10 rezil. It's like, I can't really play the game against these people that like want it that bad. It's kind of cringe, but you know, what can you do? So like I can do it, but obviously if I'm going to do that, I want to stream it. It's just like getting stream size is the annoying part. I definitely, it's something I want to do. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. If we get a certain number of likes, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it for you guys for sure. But the last video got 1000 likes. That is actually crazy. It feels good though. Like, I think it's actually pretty solid. Okay. Is there, is there a door? Here? There is. Just call me chicken. All right. We have a Dawn Blade at number two. Last time we were good for four. Let's see if we're good for uh, good for five. Oh, I feel this one here. 
One. Two. Three. Uh, no. I knew you're gonna come back. I knew it. You little rat. Oh, one dead. No. Go challenge. Why are you using a nameless min? What are you doing? This guy just got out of his knife He's like, yo, this is a pretty good gun. I wish there was a way to tell if these people were actually new or not. Like, literally, everyone is level six. I don't, like, I don't care about everyone being the same level. But it's like, bro, if you just got the game and this is your first time ever playing, you're level six. It's like, isn't that the whole point to distinguish, like, the amount of, like, playtime or, like, guardian rank, bro? Like, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me, but... We dropped another 50 bomb? 50 bomb, 5.56 KD. You guys know me, I'm out here putting up numbers and shit. I don't even get a commend for that. That's actually crazy. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button and leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. Overall, dude, this gun, I mean, you, you basically get three out of five and you just, need to, you just need two more to craft it. It's super easy to craft and it's like, you might as well do it. I honestly think it is worth it because from my personal experience, the only pulses that I actually use in Crucible are Disparity, No Time to Explain, and Messenger. All three of those are primaries. But like for a secondary, this is a really good secondary pulse if you guys don't have one. I mean, I don't even think I have one. So on my account, I'm definitely gonna get that crafted. It feels really good. I definitely recommend you guys get it. But let me know what you guys think about it down below if you have it and if you've tried it. But for me, it's definitely my, definitely my top energy pulse for sure but again like i said thank you guys so much for the support if you guys are not already in the discord please join it is on the screen right now i hope to see some of you guys there i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out